man, you guys never cease to amaze me. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and hopefully you all have had a great week, but welcome to part two of the mail call. So we last left off with these two boxes, but in the past couple days we did get three more in, which are trades from Raymond over here in this big white box. And then we got our buddy Ivan from 55 Gasser in the smaller one. And then our last and final box right there is from another buddy, Hot Wheels GR. Definitely follow them on Instagram. I'll have their links on the screen, but we still have these two to go over. That's where we last left off. As you guys see, I picked up a really sweet 1997 display. You can actually hang it on the wall or have it standing. I think this thing is super cool. So my coworker actually went to a couple thrift stores and he's been scoring some really, really cool stuff especially in the NASCAR realm and some old red lines. He scored a box, I don't know, 20 plus cars for 15 bucks. He had a Boss Haas and a couple other red lines in there. And he ended up paying like 15 cents to 20 cents a piece, which is an absolute steal. But of course that was, I think in Wisconsin or wherever he went to, he came in, messaged me if I wanted to buy this. And I said, definitely. So paid 15 bucks for this, which is not bad especially being a 1997 Hot Wheels display. I think it's super cool. So this is another great addition to the man cave or the museum as a lot of people like to call it. Here we go guys, let's jump right back into the mail calls starting off with these two. And then if we have enough time, we will jump into those. So let's go ahead and grab the little trusty knife and get this going. Here we go, the Mustang Hunter. Thank you for everything you do for our country and for the diecast community, Steve. Thank you so much for sending this. So before we get to this, cause we see a beautiful, oh, that is gorgeous. He reached out, asked if I had some Boss 429s. Um, and I was like, nope, don't have those. And he sent them. I cannot believe you sent these. Thank you so much. So the first one, oh, check it out. You got two hundred percents. Man, that is gorgeous. Got the 1970 Ford Mustang in this beautiful turquoise with the real riders. You got the white interior. This is nice, man. So 1970 Ford Mustang marked the pinnacle of an era, maximum horsepower and accelerating speeds. The Ford Mustang with the big block 429 was a street legal screamer willing to take on any and all challengers to its title as boss. Many tried, most got fired, and Ford's Mustang raced into the history books. Check that out, man. Gosh, that is nice. So I do have one other 100% Mustang in one of these boxes, and it is the 67 GT500 with the eBay Deco. Uh, that was one of my first trades from AFOL, man. I did actually take that one out because the rubber bands that are in there are prone to ruining the paint. So I might do the same thing just to keep this one from messing up that beautiful turquoise, but love the white interior, the black wing, and of course the hood scoop in the front. Very signature look, but man, for being 21, 22 years old, cause let's see, this is a 2000 casting license. Just gorgeous. And here we go, guys. <laughs> look at this. Oh man. What is this? Screaming yellow? I don't know. The yellows have had so many names. But another beautiful 70 Mustang. But this one, it looks like maybe the same verbiage, except for it has a 302 in it. So, of course, the legendary Boss 302, which you see running around after 2012, re-released. And, man, that looks so good. The black deck lid, wing, and hood matching the black hockey stripes. Yeah. Oh, dude, thank you so much. So that is that package from Steve. Huge, huge thanks for this, man. That is an awesome addition right here. Those are nice. Dude, those are nice. All right, next up, we're going to get to this box. This one's from my father-in-law. There is some stuff for my daughter. So we're going to go ahead. Once we get to those items, we'll edit it out and we will move on to see what is in the box. Oh, man, I'm excited 
because of what I purchased. And I just can't wait, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got some stuff for my daughter. We'll set those off to the side. All right, so I think I took out most of the stuff. Now this is what I'm talking about. And I'm most excited over this piece right here. Here we go. Check this out, guys. Oh, February 18th, 2001. Ooh, and we got another one. Look at that. Nice. But this right here, guys, is the newspaper release of when Dale Earnhardt was killed in Daytona's crash. So of course, this was published February 19th, 2001 on a Monday. It's a little yellowed, but man, look at this. This is definitely something I want to put in a frame. There you go. Driver hits the wall on last turn of last lap. Man. Man, check that out. Got Dale Jr., the business section. Man. So my father-in-law was at a yard sale and he was going through and the guy had a bunch of NASCAR stuff and I saw this laying on the table as he was FaceTiming me and I was like, ooh, ask him how much he wants for that. I don't even remember how much it was, maybe 10 bucks, but uh, definitely something I wanted in the collection, especially being the original newspaper article for Dale Sr.'s crash. It is just a really important piece to have in the collection, especially with me trying to build his collection and all that stuff. So I do wanna get a really nice picture frame and at least put that in there, but check that out, guys. Man, it's going through all the stuff of the incident and car accident of Dale Earnhardt. Wow, man, this is, this is what takes you back, you know, just... So I know a lot of people that aren't collectors uh, don't understand why you would pay, you know, 10 bucks for something like that. I think it was an awesome find and uh, yeah, so it's definitely, definitely a really awesome piece to have for the collection. I might have it framed up over here, but we'll go ahead and set this over here so nothing else gets on top of it and we can flatten it out. Let's see, what is this one? I don't remember what this one is. <laughs> yeah, here we go. He found this, I want to say he got this at Lowe's. We got the Ford GT in the police deco. Definitely one of those pullback cars. Nice. So that is another awesome addition to the Ford GT collection. Here are some more goodies, guys. Look at this. Dale Earnhardt's number eight, 75 Dodge. Oh, dude, that is freaking cool. Oh man, that is awesome. Such an awesome casting. Beautiful blue and yellow, just like his Wrangler car. And yeah, that is such an awesome piece of the collection. So it is limited edition with the serial number and all that good stuff. When it comes to being limited edition, as long as it's in the collection, it is valuable to me. So this is just an awesome piece to throw in the collection. So here's the loose one. It's the Wrangler Monte Carlo. There it is. Oh, man. So before I got the Wrangler number three in the collection, we had already found this one and it was being mailed off to me, but we did get one in a mail call and I am stoked to have a second one. Let's see if there's a variation to this one or not. Go a true and genuine duplicate. God, that is nice. Either way, I am excited to have another one because this is probably my favorite livery that he raced in besides the black. This is just really cool. Beautiful casting too. So there we go. We got the number three Wrangler and the number eight 75 Dodge. Just awesome. And then this last one. Oh man, I have never seen the casting come out from Jada in this look at this guys oh that is beautiful it's the drag series 67 shelby gt500 funny car in this beautiful red metallic and oh my gosh 
Look at that, man. Love the opening body, of course, the full drag setup, the long tubes. Man, that is beautiful. So he did have another one. I think it was blue. Ooh, and he got the wheelie bars right there too. Nice. So he did have another one. I believe it was blue. Of course, I didn't want my father-in-law spending too much because the guy was really pricing a lot of the Dale Earnhardt stuff pretty high. So we capped it off at these pieces right here along with that newspaper article. So we walked away with this one since it's the same color as Ruby. You can never go wrong with red, especially being my favorite color. So, oh man, huge, huge thanks to my father-in-law for thinking of me when he went to the yard sale and walked out with that. Go ahead and set this off to the side. Man, that's nice. So since we have time and we already unboxed these beautiful castings, let's open up some more since we do have three more to get through and I don't wanna have you guys wait any longer. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the one from Ivan over at 55 Gasser for our current trade. So let's open it up. So we're opening up Pandora's box. <laughs> let's see what we got. Ooh, check that out. Oh, nice. Got the Ford Bronco in this beautiful blue metallic. Man, this is an old casting too. You got the motorcycle on the back, the Ford and the Hot Wheels flame on the window, and you do have these older versions of the off-road or lifted truck wheels. Dude, that is super cool, but man, there's a lot of flake in that blue. And I wanna say that's an enamel. It's not how the more common paints are. A lot of the older ones, especially when you go back even further, were an enamel. So you had this really nice blue metallic paint, and then you had this enamel finish. You can see a huge difference in color on those older ones. So I believe that's what this is. I wanna say it's a blue metallic with an enamel. So dude, that is cool. All right, so it looks like Ivan threw in a whole bunch of extras. My man always does that, and I definitely appreciate it. But ooh, check that out. Uh-oh, we got a custom right here. Ooh, that is super cool. Look at that, the SS Commodore, and I love this gray. That is nice, and the red wheels with the yellow writing on the walls, oh yeah. Definitely dig that with the yellow roll cage and interior. Dude, that looks good. I love the way the colors just complement that gray. That is nice. Next up, ooh, check that out. You guys know I love vintage die cast. And look at this beauty. Got the Dodge Challenger in this highlighter yellow with a black splatter and pink interior dude that is super cool and the vinyl top looks really good with that texture dude that is tough looking that is cool man that is very cool all right so we got more in a ziploc oh yeah there she is oh that is nice here we go now this is the car i knew we were doing the trade in you got the nifty seven 57 Chevy, look at this, man. That is awesome. It's Matchbox super fast, world class. 57 Chevy, and the coolest thing about it, besides the real rider wheels, is the opening hood. Check that out. Man, that is beautiful. Nice details, love the red metallic, of course. You got the silver Bel Air trim, and it does have the mirror finish on the glass. I think that looks really good really good man look at that so much better in person let's see what we have in here it looks like it's orange Ooh, nice look at that man that is super cool the dodge d100 man that is that is a tough looking drag truck look at that roll bar center seat right there very nice detail of course, this is a Johnny Lightning cast. Dude, that is wicked, and I don't collect these at all. But this one, that is nice. Man, that is nice. Definitely did not need to throw in all these extras. Oh, nice, man, nice. Look at that, I think this is the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Yes, it is. Dude, loving the tuned version of this one with that massive 
looks like a 200 millimeter turbo <laughs> but we do have one carded not the same color there it is right there in silver got the canine police deco but this red oh yeah that is nice so much better in red even though that silver one looks really good that is a really cool piece man thank you so much for throwing that in there that is awesome that is it from my man over at 55 gasser check this out such an awesome lineup got the beautiful blue ford the ss commodore custom the challenger got the 57 chevy the dodge d100 and the tuned eclipse with the massive turbo sticking out of the hood so let's go ahead and move these over and give a huge huge thanks to ivan for hooking me up with the extras of course you know i'm going to do the same thing with our trade so again ivan thank you so much let's go ahead and get into osvaldo over at hot wheels gr let's get this open <laughs> all right here we go now check this out guys he sent me a message that he had found this i think it was at goodwill and i really wanted it i don't know what it was about the details of this interior of a pro stock car but i just knew i wanted it for a custom i don't know what body i can fit over it but look at the details of that you have the inlets for the driver for the rear window duct you got the fuel tank nozzle the wheels everything about this is just super cool definitely loving this man <laughs> so i don't know what car this goes to but i really want to find out and if i do have a casting i'm doing a race car build and if i can retrofit that to another casting you know i'm gonna do it so what else do we have in here dude look at this my man threw in some extras first up we got the mcdonald's car number 94 nice dude nice i think this is a happy meals car yep happy meals car with ronald mcdonald on there <laughs> nice Ooh, and check this out look at that nascar speed park it's the national self storage i don't know about this car but this is also another cool nascar look at that nice dude and here we go we got jeff gordon Ooh, and this is the metallic finish look at that nice got the chevy monte carlo number 24 now i want to i don't remember which number 24 i have over here okay there we go so same paint scheme but just the different generation of monte carlo <laughs> this one is definitely been raced and i absolutely love this kind of stuff right there look at that all right we got one more wrapped up in here oh yeah there we go number 43 golden grams so this will definitely go in the collection of my 43s um we got one right here with richard and kyle petty to celebrate the legacy then we got the star wars and pop secret now we got the Golden Grams, and then of course the STP 43, but there we go. Nice, man. Another cool car to throw in there. All right. Ooh, we got some hoods. Oh, nice. There we go. The Action Diecast Collectibles, the ET one. Oh, such memories watching this movie as a kid. That is super cool. You got ET and Elliot, of course. Ooh, and there we go. DuPont's 200 years. Oh, and he put the cards with it, too. You got Michael Waltrip, number 15, Napa car. Oh, he didn't do it. It just got stuck to it, coincidentally. <laughs> nice. So, there's the DuPont 200 years. Dude, that's awesome. Back to this, Michael Waltrip. Nice. Definitely loving this, dude. Let's see, ooh, Bill Elliott, my man, number nine. Ah, dude, that is awesome. Let's see who else, oh, Jeff Gordon. Gotta have it, and my man's on a fancy card. Check that out with the blue foil. It's the fan favorite. Nice, and that's super cool because it goes with the car. And then, oh, what? Check that out. Old Jeff Gordon, 
Look at that silhouette, man. That is super cool. Man, that is awesome. Oh, and he's got that livery with the flame. I always thought that one was the coolest one, which I do have in the larger scale. I just think it's an awesome paint scheme. This one was okay. I was always, everyone knows this livery, but this one was always my favorite one for Jeff Gordon. I think that looks super cool. And there we go. Definitely digging this. And I know you guys have commented that I'm going down a NASCAR rabbit hole. I just think it is the foundation of what racing is, you know, like, I don't know, I love it. So, ooh, and what do we have in here? Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, nice, look at that, man. The Lamborghini Huracan LP6 20-2 Super Trofeo in this beautiful gold metallic with the black 10 spokes. Please tell me this is your race car. If it is, dude, that would be an awesome car to race on the track. I don't think I have this one carded. I know I have it loose, but I don't think I have it carded. Let's see, all my Lamborghinis. Oh, I do. Wow. All right, so this makes number three in the collection. Still awesome. Osvaldo, if you want to race with this car on the track, please let me know. That would be an awesome contender right there. So there is that box right there. Thank you so much for the trade. I really just wanted that roll cage and chassis, but I greatly appreciate you throwing in these extras. That is so cool. Let's get into the last package. And this one's from Raymond. And uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Um, I was only tracking I think like one or two cars, maybe, maybe three. So whatever's in here is going to be a complete surprise because I don't know the full contents of what is in here. So let's see. Nice, nice padding though. Let's see. Jason, thank you for another great trade. I'm glad the vet is going to a good home. I sent a few extras I thought you would like. Hope you like them. Thank you for your service and also what you do for the collecting community. Thank you. Raymond so Raymond thank you so much man you definitely did not need to throw in extras but of course I thank you very much but let's jump into this right here what do we have in here let's go ahead and make some room all right first little bundle oh nice my man threw in the treasure hunt there we go so we do have this one I actually opened up all of my treasure hunts and they are actually in this case right here. So in case you guys wanna see, all of my treasure hunts are there and there it is, the Unimog. Um, I think it's both sides full. Yep, both sides are completely full. Got one more space left. So there is that one. Totally awesome to have a second. Followed up with this one. Ooh, here we go. First anniversary set, gold chase. Look at that, gold metallic with the 51 and gold five spokes. This was just an iconic car. I remember this one, there was another variation of, of the toilet car and the radio flyer. Just really cool fantasies. Right, next little bundle, Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, Toys R Us exclusive, look at that. Oh, that is nice. Corvette C6 in black, love in the blue and orange. And you do have the Hot Wheels flame with the number 32 as Martin Ariola. Oh man, that is awesome. Let's go ahead and take these off. I have not seen this one. Loose carded, I've never seen anyone post about it. There's just so many out there and that is awesome looking. Of course, it's out of the Hot Wheels race series. Dude, that is sweet. Got the black PR5s with like the chrome trim, blue interior. Oh yeah, that is nice. Followed up with another Toys R Us exclusive. Ooh, there we go. 67 GTO. That's an exclusive? I could, I think I have this one. Um, maybe not, maybe not. But I do got all my GTOs down there. And um, yeah, never mind. As I was, Toys R Us exclusive out of the Hot Wheels Workshop. 
You got the beautiful orange enamel with the black and yellow stripe and the 400. The black PR5s, the chrome trim. Oh yeah, those double stack GTOs are beautiful. And that is awesome that this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Oh my gosh, dude, I did not expect you to send this much. This car, I remember you talking about. Let's go ahead and look at this one. I think you said this was a box car, serial car, or something like that. Oh man, look at this. Beautiful fade on that. From purple to white or white to purple. Got the staggered five spokes, Georgia Pacific and Coronet. Man, that is super cool, man. And it's still in the bag. All right, next up, ooh, nice. The Piston Popper, <laughs> my dude. Oh, that is so cool, man. Look at that, it's the Mach 1 in yellow, and it is the Piston Popper. I have one of these that I picked up at a thrift store, and I can't remember how much I got it for, or if it was a trade, I don't remember. Uh, where's it at, right here. This one is a blue with the yellow interior. And check it out, we have another one. Oh man, those pistons work a lot better. Check it out. Oh man, back to back piston poppers, dude. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna have to uh, rearrange some stuff because this is just an awesome casting from Matchbox. Awesome, man. Totally freaking awesome. Ooh, and here we go, Ferrari Testarossa. I have not seen this variation before. Check this out. Got the beautiful yellow and black interior with the yellow base. Got the chrome ultra hots and this really cool retro tampo. Kind of like Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Look at that. That is nice. I have a feeling this is some type of promo car, exclusive, or something. Because I've never seen this one before. Man, you sent a lot of crazy stuff, and here we go, we have another one. So I have one loose and one carded, but here we go, another wide body Mach 1. I think it's the IMSA. Yep. Dude, totally cool. These are just awesome castings. I love the wide body and just the uniqueness of it. I do want to see if the other one loose is in a little bit worse condition, and I might do a wide body custom, because that would look so cool on it. Awesome, dude. So this is the car I knew he was sending and I am excited to throw it in the collection, guys. Look at this. There we go, the Treasure Hunt Barbie Corvette. Man, I never got to catch this in the wild. I think it hit Arizona in maybe two stores and that was it. A huge thanks to Raymond for this one. He saw in my last video about my monster trucks when I was talking about the Corvettes right here that I was trying to find those. And then he said, wait a minute, you don't have the treasure hunt monster truck. And of course, man, ah, uh, thank you so much for adding this one. Totally cool, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, no way. Oh, man. Oh, dude, you outdid yourself. Oh, that is awesome, man. The number six Valvoline. And it's the Thunderbird. I don't have a Thunderbird Valvoline car. And there we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, that is awesome, but it doesn't stop there. It does not stop there. He threw in the rig. Check this out. Dude. Oh man, that is totally awesome. Did he sign that? Dude, did he freaking sign this? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Please tell me you're joking. Tell me you're joking right now, man. My man got Mark Martin to sign the trailer for his number six. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, dude, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is 
Wow. I don't know what to say, dude, but holy crap. Let's take a time out. All right, so since I have uh, gathered my composure, my dude, you sent Mark Martin's signed hauler and car. My favorite freaking driver, number six, Valvoline, got it. It's, oh my gosh, dude, that is so wicked, man. Oh man, you guys never cease to amaze me on the stuff that you're willing to send or trade or whichever, but holy crap, dude. I mean, we have a lot of freaking awesome stuff right here, but my favorite freaking race car driver, seriously, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, last one. What do we have here? Am I ready for it? I see it's a NASCAR Winston Cup series. Ah, oh, you got the Matt Kenseth 17 DeWalt. Dude, that is so awesome, man. Ah, oh, you guys, that is an awesome casting. All right, all right, no more surprises. That is literally everything in the box. Still, still in shock of this right here. I mean, come on, not only did you send the Corvette treasure hunt, the exclusives, the chase piece and a treasure hunt, but dude, and these right here, the Piston Popper and the IMSA, this right here is still, holy crap, man. So as we wrap up episode two, which is the final episode to this unboxing. I cannot, and I repeat guys, I cannot thank you all enough for the trades. And of course, every time we do a trade, you guys throw in some extras. Of course, like the Dale Earnhardt stuff and the newspaper article I purchased um, and gave my father-in-law the money already. But this stuff, guys, you guys are so awesome. I cannot tell you the level of just pure excitement and joy that I get when I receive stuff like this and do all the kinds of trades that we always do. But wow, dude, I don't even know where to go at the end of this because I am still in shock. A huge, huge thanks to Raymond, Osvaldo, Steve, and Ivan over at 55 Gasser. And also, of course, a huge, huge thanks to my father-in-law for scoring the Dale Senior stuff as well as the article. That is totally cool. I cannot wait to frame it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as I do filming and unboxing. And if you did, give it a huge thumbs up and of course comment down below if you have any more information on whatever casting that is. And of course, anything you saw in this video, drop that info. I love reading the comments, you guys rock. And of course, until next time guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.